Hello friends, uh, welcome to Learners Planet. Friends, this is our eighth session for the topic real functions. In the previous session, we have discussed uh, some problems based on uh, finding out the domain of a given function. And in this session, we are going to take some more problems on the same topic. So let's begin the session and just have your paper and pen with you so you can start solving the problems right with me. So let's begin. Now let's see this problem. Here, the domain of the function, uh, this uh, fx is equal to log of, that's uh, root of x minus 4 plus root of 6 minus x is. So, here the important thing is the quantity that is in the square root should be positive. So, x minus 4 should be greater than or equal to 0 and apart from that x minus 6 should be greater than or equal to 0. That means x should be greater than or equal to 4, x should be less than or equal to 6, right? That means x should lie between 4 to 6, right? So if uh, x is between 4 to 6, logarithm, this quantity will always be positive, the entire quantity, because this is a positive quantity, this is a positive quantity. So finally, we have to find out the log of the positive quantity, so that's valid, right? So the domain of this function will be between 4 to 6. That means x can take the value between 4 to 6 inclusive of both of them. Okay. Similarly, uh, for this function, logarithm of 5x minus x square by 6. Now, the two th there are two things. Uh, the entire quantity is there in the square root. Apart from that, we have the logarithm function. Right. So, the first thing is, it, this quantity has to be positive. That means log of 5x minus x, x square by 6 should be greater than or equal to 0, right? Now what, uh, if the base of the logarithm is not at all given, we need to assume it to be e, that is exponential, that means the base is greater than 1. Now what I do is, I write the 0 as log 1, right? That means, and the base is, uh, this 0 is actually log 1. So, uh, since base is greater than 1, the, the sign of inequality will be retained. So, this is this. That means 5x minus x square should be greater than or equal to 6. That means x square minus 5x plus 6 is greater than, uh, less than or equal to 0. Okay. So, that is x minus 2, x minus 3 less than or equal to 0. Just draw the curve to 3 that means x should be between 2 to 3 now 2 and 3 both of them are included since the sign since the sign of uh, equal to sign is also there right so x is between 2 and 3 so p is the correct option okay now here uh, we have to find out the domain of this expression here we can see this portion also right and uh, we know that the base of the logarithm should not be negative as well as it should not be 1 that means x plus 3 should not be equal to 1 and x plus 3 should be greater than 0 but it should not be equal to 1 that means x should be greater than minus 3 but we need to delete 1 right so that is the case of base and uh, if we talk about this x square plus 2x plus 1 should be greater than 0 because be, uh, this index should be positive so, x plus 1 whole square should be greater than 0. That means, so since it is a perfect square term, it will always be greater than 0. And here, x plus 3 is not equal to minus 1. That means, x should not be equal to minus 2. Right? So, we have to club these two conditions. So, x is greater than minus 3. That means, x belongs to uh, minus 3 to infinity, right? It's not equal to sign, only greater than sign. So that's x belongs to minus 3 to infinity. And apart from that, minus 2, it should not be minus 2, right? So minus, minus 2, right? Apart from that, uh, x should not be minus 1 as well because if x is minus 1, this expression will be 0. So, we want this to be greater than 0. So, x should not be minus 1, 
right so from minus 3 to infinity only two elements minus 2 and minus 1 to be deleted for this function to exist or for this function to be real okay now uh, a different problem here n is an integer the domain of this function that is root of sine 2x now we have a trigonometric function over here now we know uh, the quantity under square root should be positive that means sine 2x must be greater than equal to 0 right now sine 2x is positive if we draw the circle from this to this that means in the first quadrant and second quadrant sine theta is greater than equal to 0 right that means 2x should belong to 2 and pi and this is 2 and pi plus pi right okay so from this point to this point right so from 2 and pi and this is pi so from 2 and pi to 2 and pi plus pi right so x should uh, 2x should lie between this so x should be n pi plus n pi plus pi by 2 right so i take 2 as common so uh, if 2x belongs to uh, this range then x should be between n pi 2 n pi plus pi by 2 so n pi and 2 and pi plus pi by 2 right so that was pretty simple i hope you are clear now let's see this problem uh, we have to find out the domain of this function so that is sine inverse now we know this value should be between minus 1 to 1 because sine theta uh, for any value of theta is between minus 1 to 1 right so 1 plus 3x plus 2x square should be less than 1 and greater than minus 1 or I can say greater than equal to and less than equal to greater than equal to minus 1 and less than equal to 1 right so we take the functions one by one so that is 2x square plus 3x plus uh, 2 should be greater than equal to 0 so now we can see b square minus 4 you see that's less than 0 that means uh, we will be getting the imaginary values of x right so uh, uh, leave that now we see 2x square plus 3x and the 1 and 1 is cancelled and that is less than equal to 0. I can take, uh, take x as common. So it's 2x plus 3 less than equal to 0. So that is 0 and that's minus 3 by 2. So x should be between minus 3 by 2 to 0 both of them inclusive right here we are getting the uh, imaginary values of x so it's not at all defined so what will be the domain of this function that x belongs to minus 3 by 2 to 0 so that's this right the only important thing over here is sine theta a value of sine theta lies between minus 1 to 1 both of them inclusive right so that means the value of this will be between minus 1 to 1 this expression will be minus 1 to 1 okay now this combination of uh, algebraic expression as well as trigonometric so root of x square minus 4 that means x square minus 4 should be greater than equal to 0 x minus 2 x plus 2 should be greater than equal to 0 so it's minus 2 2 so x should belong to minus infinity 2 2 union 2 is included I'm sorry minus 2 union 2 to infinity right so from this expression uh, these are the favorable values of x and from this again cos theta is between minus 1 to 1 that means 2 minus x should be greater than equal to minus 1 and less than equal to 1 right so 2 minus x is greater than equal to minus 1 that means x is less than equal to 3 okay so this is the first thing this is the second thing then the third thing is 2 minus x should be less than equal to 1 that means if we solve this x greater than equal to 1 I'm sorry x is greater than equal to 1 so this is the third thing now we have to club the three expressions so I draw a number line just see how to club this is minus infinity this is minus 2 
this is 2, this is infinity, that's uh, 3 and that's 1. Right? Now, I just club. See, from this, uh, the favorable values of x are minus infinity to minus 2. So, this is the favorable range and 2 to infinity. This is the favorable range. Now, from this, x should be less than or equal to 3. So, this is the favorable range. Right? The second line. Okay? After that, x should be greater than or equal to 1. So, this is the favorable range. Now, you can see the purple portion that is common among the 3 is from this point to this point, right? This point to this point, it is coming in the this case also, this case also or this case also, right? So, this is the favorable value that satisfy all the three expressions, okay? So, x should be between 2 to 3, okay? So, uh, I hope you are clear how to club the three conditions, okay? So, here we have to find out the domain of this function. Now, we know cos inverse x is defined when x is between minus 1 to 1 and cosec inverse x is defined when x is between, uh, not between, but x should be greater than or equal to 1 or x should be less than minus 1, right? So, the same uh, we will be using over here. That means 6 minus 3x by 4 should be greater than equal to minus 1 and 6 minus 3x by 4 should be less than equal to 1, right? So, here in this case, uh, minus 4 and 6, 10. So, x should be less than equal to 10 by 3 and here it's uh, x should be greater than equal to 4 and this 2 by 3, right? So, this is uh, uh, according to this x should be between 2 by 3 to 10 by 3, right? Now, we will be using this. So, x minus 1 by 2 should be greater than or equal to 1. That means x should be greater than or equal to 3 and x minus 1 by 2 should be less than or equal to minus 1. So, that's uh, it's minus 2. So, x should be less than or equal to minus 1, right? So, according to this, x should be, belongs to minus infinity to minus 1 union 3 to infinity, right? Now, we have to find out the intersection of these results. So, let's draw the number line. Here, it's uh, minus infinity, minus 1, 3, and infinity. Then 10 by 3 will be somewhere here and 2 by 3 that will be somewhere here, right? Now, how do we find out the intersection? We have already discussed. So, x should be less than 10 by 3. That means this, okay? x should be greater than 2 by 3. That means this. Now, x should be uh, minus, minus infinity to minus 1. That means x should be uh, less than minus 1. So, x should be less than minus 1 or x should be uh, greater than 3. So, that's 3, this. Okay. Now, we can see uh, this portion that is from 3 to 10 by 3. That's there in all the three cases, right? So, the favorable value of x will be 3 to 10 by 3. Okay. I hope that's clear to you. Now here, interesting problem. So, the first condition is log x to the base 3 should be between minus 1 to 1. So, it should be greater than or equal to minus 1. Then, it should be less than or equal to 1. And x should be greater than 0 because uh, 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 like logarithm of negative values is not at all defined. 0 and negative not at all defined. That means x should be greater than 0, right? Now, how do we do that? Um, minus 1 can be written as log 3 to the base 3 raised to minus 1, right? Now, base is greater than 1, so the sign of inequality will be uh, maintained if we take anti log. So, x is greater than 3 raised to minus 1 or I can say 1 by 3, 
right here it's log 3 to the base 3 now again the base is greater than 1 so sign of inequality will be maintained so x is less than equal to 3 now x is between, uh, greater than 1 by 3 and x is uh, less than equal to 3 but x should not be equal, x should be greater than 0 right so in both the cases x is greater than 0 so whether you consider it or not doesn't matter so x should be between 1 by 3 to 3 so that's this option okay so that's pretty simple i hope you are clear now we have an interesting problem here sine of log of this so since sine x is defined for all real values of x so we don't have to calculate or we don't have to uh, worry about uh, sine so our question starts from logarithm right now this quantity is under square root so this quantity should be greater than equal to zero but since log zero is not at all defined that means this quantity should not be equal to 0. So we just have to consider this quantity should be greater than 0, right? So 4 minus x square by 1 minus x should be, instead of greater than equal to 0, it should be greater than 0 because we cannot take this value as 0 because log 0 is not at all defined, right? Now, that means x square minus 4 upon x minus 1 should be greater than 0. So x minus 2, x plus 2 by x minus 1 should be greater than 0. So I just put up that's minus 2, 1 and 2. Right? We have to take the values of x, uh, this, uh, this expression to be greater than 0. So x should be between uh, minus 2 to 1. Union. 2 to infinity right so these are the favorable values of x so that was uh, simple the only thing that you have to uh, keep in your mind is this expression instead of gr taking greater than equal to 0 you just have to take greater than 0 because log 0 is not at all defined right I hope you are getting me so friends, uh, in the next session, I'll be taking some more problems based on domain and range of the function. Do revise this session and the previous ones. And uh, you can send me your queries at, uh, I just give you the mail ID, that's alkamathvideos at gmail.com. I write it over here. Right? So... See you in the next session once again. Bye-bye.